Hey guys, it's Mike here. Hey everyone! How's it going guys? So tonight <laughs> we're gonna do our first reaction of the month, our yes. first request. And this is gonna be from the band XTZ. XTC. XTC. <laughs> okay. Um, and the name is the name is <laughs> Looking for the Light from No the English Roundabout. Oh, oh my gosh, yes, I'm so sorry. Uh... <laughs> no, 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 no. That's why we have a blooper reel. So, okay, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking for the light is another song. Yes, gonna, I'm sorry. Okay, this is a request for Mike Nichols. Thank you so, so much for all of your support uh, on the channel, Mike. We're going to do English Roundabout for you from the album English Settlement, Settlement. 1982. And this is our first time ever listening to XTC. C. Yes. And, As in Charles. And I also want to give a shout out to our friend Bob. Um, he sent us way back when uh, a few albums of XTC. And we're so, so thankful for that because we obviously haven't yes. listened to them uh, yes. because we don't want to spoil anything. But now Mike is getting us into the band by requesting this song. So okay. very excited about that. And this is from 1982. So, um, where is it? Okay, here it is. All right. Oh. Same thing. <laughs> 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 okay. Here we go. So let's do it. English roundabout.
Wow. That was so interesting. You immediately get thrown in, and now I think it's probably because it is a concept album, but it's got like yeah. that reggae feel, but it very English. Like it's very English, that song. It reminds like the oh, 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 you know, and the, and the. <laughs> but you, are they from England though? I, I don't know, but for me, it sounds very English. Because you it did sounds, not have an English accent. I don't though. know, but I think it, it did give me kind of like that vibe of. Like I, reggae I, or what like... I felt was very 80s. It was very 80s. It was very, um, they didn't have, they were not afraid to use a little bit of humor. You know, it was very mm -hmm. funny, very light felt, uh, lighthearted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and it was a yeah. lot of technical stuff yes. in there. Something very the simple. the muting of the yeah. strings it was very interesting so it was a lot of like palm muted like reggae yeah. kind of like vibe but everything was very interesting it was mm -hmm. just very good and like i said i don't know if you heard me but it reminded me of b52 of B but yeah. you know like more different yeah but in that style that yeah, you know yeah, yeah. that time mm -hmm. yeah i agree i really enjoyed it i really uh didn't know kind of what to expect with this no xtc idea. and i wonder Every time I say this or think about this band, do you say XTC or is it kind of like a short way of saying ecstasy? You know, like oh. ecstasy. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of what makes, that's what I want to say when I read it is ecstasy. But ecstasy, I don't know if, yeah. if you actually pronounce each letter. I'm sure, <laughs> you know? I'm sure like fans would say ecstasy, right? Yeah, ecstasy. I don't, I guess. I mean, for me, it's just easier, but I didn't really know what to expect from them and I'm, really kind of like um pleasantly surprised yeah, me too. i really enjoyed it it was fun um it sounded like <laughs> literally like like b52 meets like i don't know man it's like it was so different I yeah mean, i don't want to say sting of the police yeah the police but maybe faster it had that almost like Instead of reggae, it almost sounded like ska. I was gonna say it was like a reggae ska, mm -hmm. and the oh 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 oh, like uh -huh. I don't. It just um, and I love like the Ramones even, uh, yeah. you know, like, and that's why I think I don't know. Like for me, it was a very interesting mix. Like I think I looked over at you, and I'm like, what is going on? But yeah, <laughs> like, we were like, what it's this? really hard to make us dance because we're not like the dancing types. Mm -hmm. But you see, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Mostly like with with bands that was that what when there's a lot of stuff going on that's yeah. what makes us. But mean. you're right, it did have like a fun aspect, obviously, mm -hmm. which is like the most humorous. apparent, but very technical. You know what is... it reminded me of a little bit? You know this um a band by Danny Elfman, Oingo Boingo. Oh, I haven't heard it. Well, I've heard like maybe three songs, but it was also very like you know how crazy Danny Elfman yeah. gets with his mood, yeah. the music. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> So it reminded me of that. Okay. Well, we'll have to listen to Oingo Boingo. Yeah. If you guys know <laughs> Oingo Boingo, the, Danny, uh, the, the group that Danny Elfman used to be in before he became a score composer, before he did Beetlejuice and Batman and all the great stuff, you know, um, he was in the rock band. He was the lead singer. And he's actually the lead singer night before Christmas. Oh, my little gosh. little Christmas trivia. Uh, I love it. By the way, whoever hasn't noticed this little tree right here. <laughs> oh like yeah oh but you should see the house Christmas oh, decoration have, but I'm gonna put like the elf stuff. has arrived <laughs> the, elf, the elf has landed <laughs> well, instead thank, of the eagle has yes landed. thank you Mike Nichols so much not only for this song I'm so glad you were able to get in a request because I did see you kind of chatting there uh, with people in the comments saying that you wanted to do uh, request ecstasy and I'm or er, XT um, and I'm happy that you did, but also thank you for all of your support on the channel, all of your lovely uh, comments, your support. Thank you everyone for watching this, and we hope to see everyone in the next video. Yes, we do. Thank you guys. Take <laughs> Bye, care. Bye, everyone. Bye.